Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to Stampin' Up! with Jamie Lynn Lake and the Stampin' Sugar Beets. Today I want to show you how to make this really neat um, rainbow card using one of the items that's on the clearance rack, which is the Scallop Eyelet Punch. And this is the old style Scallop Eyelet Punch. Um, so it's got the lever handle. Um, and the new one, the new punches, Stampin' Up! punches look like this. They're gray and they're stackable. But I purchased this off the clearance rack for $9.59, which I thought was a steal, and I wanted to show you how to use it. So to make this border punch, you'll take the edge of your paper. I'm going to use yellow so it's really easy for you to see. And you're just going to stick it into the punch area of the punch. I want to show you how the guide works because it's really neat. Um, so it comes out looking like this. And so you have a straight edge here, so you can line this up consistently with the back part of your punch. See? So it doesn't mess up the way that your punches go through. And then you also have this guide here, so you can line up your paper that you've already punched with that. So you have two, to, you have two guides, the one that keeps the paper straight and the one that lines up the design so you don't over punch. So I'm going to line up my design so it fits. Let me see if I can go in closer and you can see that. Okay, see, so I'm going to line up my design with the already existing punch, and then I'm going to come straight down and up, and I'm going to scoot it up, and I'm going to find the edge and line it up, and then I'm going to punch. So you can see it's really easy, really quick. You really can't mess this one up. And then this is going to be the last one. And there you go. So I'm going to zoom back out. Now, I've already done some in the colors of the rainbow, which, if you didn't know, spell out Roy G. Biv. That's an easy way to remember. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Roy G. Biv. Perfect. So I have a standard size A2 card in Whisper White. That's my dog. He wants to come inside. This is five and a half by four and a quarter. And I have all of my punched borders. So let's go ahead and start laying these down. Now I'm going to start from the bottom up. So I'm going to start with what we're calling start with what we're calling um, violet, and I'll put all the cardstock names and the color names in the box below so you can check it out for yourself. I'm going to use a little bit of snail on the back, and I'm going to start from the bottom. Now, one thing you want to do when you are layering your colors is to stagger the scallops, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see. So here's your scallops here. Next is going to be blue. Well, indigo, really. So you're not going to line up your scallops directly on top like that. Or you can if you want, but I think it looks neater staggered. So you're going to kind of stagger them that way. Just like that. See? So this blue scallop is coming in between these two purple scallops. Let's see if I can focus you in. Okay, next is going to be blue. So we'll put a little snail on here. And stagger that. Have a little dot of yellow there. And then green. And then next is orange. These are really so fun in this card. I love it because the Whisper White is so nice and clean and it really lets the colors pop. The colors are so vibrant on their own that it, it really gives them its own, its own attention. Next is yellow, which off the top of my head I believe is Daffodil Delight. So there's that. And then the last color we have here is Real Red. So I'm going to finish this top one off with Real Red. Stagger that. Perfect. There. Now we have our Roy G. Biv. R, Red, O, oops. We don't have Roy G. Biv because I messed that up. I'm just going to peel these up really quick and switch the places. Obviously red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So let's switch these out. There we go. Oops. OK. 
Okay, see that was easy to fix. And then our red. Next I'm gonna show you how to tie a knot that lays flat on your card. So it's not bulky and it's easy to mail. So as soon as I get this down, there we go. R-O-Y-G-B-I-V, perfect. Now you could see we have a bunch of stuff overhanging, so I'm gonna chop that off with my paper cutter. Let me zoom out. I love Stampin' Up's paper cutter because it's so sharp and it gets everything cut in one swipe. So let's line this up, cut that off. On the other side. And of course you can use those scraps for another project. Okay, there you go. Next for the bow. Now you're gonna take a piece of ribbon. This is real red grow grain ribbon. And what you do is, let me move this over so you can really see it. You're gonna start to tie your knot. Just a regular, make sure your ribbon's flat. Just start to tie. But before you close your knot, before you close your knot, you're gonna slip a piece, a shorter piece of ribbon through. So I'm gonna untwist everything. So now everything's kind of untwisted, see? Right before you tighten it, there's a little, you still have your little hole. You're gonna slip a shorter piece of the same ribbon through and then proceed to pull your knot flat. Keep it real flat. Try to keep it as untwisted as possible and that'll give you a nice flat knot. See? So next you're gonna just, you can either cut them at a diagonal. I like to, um, to make mine, my sons call them snake tongues, but I like to cut mine as, as a banner. So let me get those cut. Just gonna fold it in half and snip it at an angle. And then apply some snail on the back of my ribbon. And this is gonna go directly on my card, right above my real red cardstock. And that's just gonna add a little border between the white and the red and kind of ease that transition right there. See how nice that looks? Just kind of polishes it off a little. I'm gonna make sure that I have enough on the back of my ribbon to go over my card. And I'm actually um, going to lay another piece of white whisper right over this after I'm done, just so that you can't see that ribbon on the back. You don't have to, but I just wanna kinda keep it nice and clean. Oops. So there's the edge of the ribbon. I'm gonna put a piece of whisper white over this later. There's this. And then I'm gonna take my sentiment that says happy birthday. And this is for the stamp set called Bring on the Cake. I'm gonna stamp this in Pacific Point, which is one of my favorite colors. I'm gonna stamp it right here at the top right corner of my card. Actually, I have the bow on this side, so I'm gonna stamp this on the top left corner of my card. Because I have clear blocks, I can tell exactly where I'm stamping. Perfect. Isn't that nice and clean and simple and beautiful? And the colors are so vibrant. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm going to put all the product numbers and names down in the bottom so you can check it out for yourself. See you next time.